Ah, here we are. Okay. Yeah, I just ran up on a skeleton wearing gold armor. I thought it was a player. So I was, you know, all being fucking friendly and just walking up. Hey, how are you? And then I was like, why are you firing at me? What? <laughs> Why would you do that? We're, I thought, thought we were cool. It's like, you're remaining silent yet attacking me. It's fucked up. But what the hell is that? Is it? Are there mobs wearing gold armor? Is that a possibility? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just fucking standing there. Okay. Shot my cat a few times. It pissed me off. Oh, man. That's not cool. No, it is not. And, you know, I was wondering when I mounted this fucking thing, what are all these weird-looking uh, icons to the right? Well, it's, now I know what those are. Start decreasing as they were shooting my donkey with arrows. That would be my mount's life. Super. You yeah. got to feed these things or what? Uh, to heal them, but they don't need to be fed to keep them alive. You know what I mean? They don't have yeah. hunger quite like ah, us. Ah, shit, run. But you were, asking, you were asking what the advantage was of having mounts? Yeah, I could see the speed advantage right away. Yeah, but the donkeys I actually like better than the horses, because if you're going to go looting or gathering, then it uh, pays to have the extra storage space. Ah, uh, cool. Class uh, Holes and I built a, well, Class Holes built the market. I helped him come up with ideas for the signs. Where are you? I am near the stables. Oh, yeah? Come up, right out in front. You can see it in the video. You don't have to come up. Ah! God damn it. I'm getting attacked from like every angle. It's a dangerous neighborhood we live in here. Fucking bad. It's usually where McDonald's are located in shitty neighborhoods, so it makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and of course, there I'm ride towards the danger, you fucking moron. Holy shit, that is a very tiny little zombie. There we are. Among donkey friends now. That works. Ow. So does class holes have a mic or? No, no. Ah, bummer. I think he plays on a laptop. He doesn't join in on the talk. Ah. So how is it you utilize the storage on your mounts? Uh, do they have the saddlebags? Um, yes. Ah, okay. Just now saw in your inventory. Cool. Yep. Neat. Yeah, we had, to gather, we had to gather a bunch of sand. We were running low on sand, so we went to that desert on the way to the, the main city, the capital. Yeah. And we all just load it up. It's really nice. And then if you if you have a if you have an ender chest in your saddlebags, then you have even more storage space because you can just put down the ender chest, fill it up with shit, then use a silk touch pick to pick it up. No, oh, that's killer. Yeah. Anyway, come with me really quick. Where are you? Uh I am among the donkeys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it your, seemed that, to be a safe area, or was it being chased by tiny that's zombies? Your, that's your Indian name. Among the donkeys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking blockbuster movie right there. That's a lot of mobs out. Yeah, no shit, man. That's where I'm hiding. <laughs> Jesus. What we need now is a Walmart. I think that's what I'll build. Fucking Walmart out here. In true Kentucky fashion. I'll add a I'll add a Walmart to our Minecraft server. Who built that and the dude in Kentucky, that's it. There you are. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. It appears that you've taken an arrow to the knee. Yes, I said that. that was something <laughs> I just said. Yeah. Hmm. Well. <laughs>
couldn't resist. Yeah. There was actually a guy at Comic Con walking around with a fucking arrow in his knee. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, you said you went to Comic Con when you mentioned that the joke I told failed. So uh, mm-hmm. what else happened at Comic Con? Well, I mean, you know, there's always the cosplay, and everybody had the um, really great costumes. You know, the most popular costume was was fucking uh, what's that guy from Adventure Time? Help me out here. Finn. Finn. There it is. Um, yeah, that was the most popular costume. Be it a 38 year old man or an eight year old girl, they're both dressed like fucking Finn. And apparently, there's like a girl version of Finn that the girls were dressing like, which I don't have any clue what that is. But yeah, yeah. Ah, what is it? Fiona. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've never actually watched Adventure Time. I just know that it's Finn because that's skeptic, skeptical heretic skin. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I've watched it. It's actually kind of funny, really. But, Is it uh, just a kid's show? or, or No. Well, I mean, it's one of those uh, shows that you can pretty much get into regardless of age. Is it like the old Muppet show where it has, like, humor (laughs) snuck in there that's for adults? Yeah. Like, topical shit that kids wouldn't understand? No, actually. There's not a lot of topical anything in it, but yes to your question. Just nothing topical. I mean, it's really hard to explain. It's just, you gotta have, like, a fucking odd sense of humor like I have, I guess, and then you're on board. It's kind of, it was kind of funny in the way that SpongeBob is sometimes. You know, I mean, it's just stupid. Like a stoned way? Yeah, bingo. But, you know, somehow I don't require that. <laughs> it's really funny to me either way, you know. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's it's better. It's better than that shit. It's one of those things you have to watch. Of course, then again, I, I kind of, I watch it like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and I find it hilarious. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, Did you see the Aqua Teen know. movie? Oh, so you like that shit, too, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I like oh, most okay. of the Adult Swim shit. Oh, okay. okay. I, no, I haven't seen the movie yet. Metalocalypse. <laughs> now that all that shit's on Netflix, I just haven't got around to watching it. Is that class holes off in the distance at the International House of Rape over there? Uh, it might be Karamazov. I don't think it is. Yeah, and that's what they've titled my the house I built over there, Sarah Hunt's International House of Rape. Yeah, it's Texas. both a house of rape and a dead nigger storage. Yeah, the, yeah. It's like one Dual of those Taco purpose. Bells where you can get items from Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, that's compare. That's a great comparison. Definitely understand how that's uh, comparable. Uh, tacos and pizza, dead nigger storage and rape. Same thing. <laughs> Same fuck. <bucket. laughs> yeah, shit. Okay. So anyway, follow me. Uh, Where'd you go? Over here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're the only blue, like you're like bright blue surrounded by donkeys. Where are you? <laughs> hmm. I'm having a hard time navigating with this fucking donkey, though, that's for sure. Like, the fences seem to be quite a challenge to me. And now I am. That was weird. Got stuck. Okay. There we go. Got stuck on the pressure plate. That was bizarre. <laughs> Alright, I'm right behind you. Alright. Hmm. I'm on Skype with the others. I'm trying to rally the troops. Uh, by the way, uh, a special thanks to user visiting Xenoc134. It turns out that the Rainbow Kingdom is a real place, uh, yes. and he actually found it on the original Slap server, and he gave us the coordinates. Killer. So that's, awesome. that's what we'll be doing today. Mm-hmm. War on what you previously referred to as the Brony Kingdom. Yeah, the Brony <laughs> Kingdom. Jesus. Yep. They have they have a giant pixel art horse, like a giant pixel <laughs> art uh, My Little Pony made out of gold. Uh, we're gonna definitely gonna set that on fire. That's on the agenda for the day. Uh, well, that's that's the thing is we already scouted it out, and yeah. uh, the same catastrophe that caused so many parts of our world to be gone, yeah, also took out the Brony Kingdom. Oh, really? Yeah. So <laughs> it's just the edge of the world. But there's a place nearby called Haven where they've been holed up. So we're gonna attack that and slaughter all the refugees. Cool. So yeah. 
Excellent go ahead shit. and go ahead and put your donkey in the pen because we're going to be on foot for this next part. Okay. That's a bummer. I'm enjoying this. See, see, I can't like <laughs> walk through this gate. Why is that? Am I just terrible? No, like, he can't. He can't go through. You know, this oh, is, okay. All right. This is okay. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wanted to make sure that wasn't me. Sir Hunt's cat. All right, that's us. It's our space. Get up there, you dumbass. I get jokes. Come on. Come on. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. This should be like a whole episode right here. Just a half an hour of Sarahan trying to get his mount inside of a stable. All right, how do I dismount this asshole? Left shift. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We already... Okay, cool. Same as the mine cart. All right. All right. Bye-bye, cat. Bye, kitty. All right. That's right. Got a cart? Um, no. Should be one in one of these boxes. Alright. Yep. And voila. Okay. Oh, look at the market. Where's that? Over here. Shit, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, killer. That's awesome. When the hell did you put this up? Yesterday. Awesome. Skittles and iced tea. Definitely. Let's see here. <laughs> Trayvon's choice. Ballistic best. Alright, that just made my fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well done, sir. Well done. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we have a new champion. Uh, say uh, bye to dead near storage. All right, uh, Jim's non sensual melon shop. <laughs> lap dance is available Tuesday through Friday. Who wants a lap dance on a Tuesday? Like, that just sounds horrible. Uh -huh. Let's see. Like, if you're getting a lap dance at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a fucking Tuesday, it's time to rethink things. <laughs> Teriyaki <laughs> now with fifty percent more cat meat. <laughs> Sodomite's choice for fire. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Sacrifice and slice for repair. Fantastic. Fresh air filter mirror. Uh, just like mom used to make <laughs> forty percent less corn. That's a bonus. John sees that argument clinic. <laughs> oh, good God. This is so water taffy. Now, see, we need that where I live. Mark's asbestos and saltwater taffy. That. That sounds like something you could actually get in Gatlinburg. That sounds like something you definitely get. There is at least a dozen Monty Python references in these shots. Oh, look at this. All right, which one? Uh, morning, morning, well, which home pregnancy test? Why is that not an actual product? That's what I'm. Uh, well, I could put him out of business. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I mean, I, well, not really. I mean, you gotta find out you're pregnant. You still don't know who the baby's dad is. Well, yeah, that's. The, oh, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, that that show is pure gold. I mean, it, it's <laughs> yeah, it's, it is. It's why white trash exists. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it. it's so sad. And what's great is, I mean, when when the guy, when when Maury says, you know, Cletus, you're not the father. That yeah. guy is happier than the winner of any other game show in existence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You know, there's a guy like some. You could put like clip clips next to each other. A guy like winning the showcase showdown on The Price Is Right, and a guy finding out he's not the baby's dad, and the guy's not the baby's dad is by far fucking happier. And and jumping guy. up and down, springing, you know, giving people high fives. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I mean, there's this did one. Did you ever? I'm sorry to interrupt. Did yeah. you Did you ever see that sketch where it was uh, Joseph and Mary on the Maury show, 
and uh, it was uh, they were reading the DNA results. Joseph, when it comes to the two-year-old baby Jesus, you are not the father. <laughs> and Joseph is like doing cartwheels and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> It's on YouTube. You just look at, you know, Maury Povich, Jesus. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. So, enough tomfoolery. We smooth, have a uh, award fresh, wage. Smooth, refreshing crack, <laughs> of course. It's like a fizz freeze. It's yeah, crack. that's a Futurama reference. I'm not very original. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, just... really? Well, I mean, yeah, all that shit was incredibly funny. You should <laughs> just take credit for it. I would have never known the difference. Because I don't watch Futurama. And what was the other shit? You, uh, Monty Python? I've seen, you know, I've seen the typical shit. You know, I've seen, uh, you know, the Holy Grail and uh, what else? Life of Brian. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's about it, I think. No, no Flying Monty Circus? Python. Nope. Haven't seen it. Oh, dude. I had, uh, I had all the seasons in a giant box set. I mean, not, it's, some of it is pretty hit or miss. It reminds me of that Family Guy sketch where uh, they, have, they have that girl tied down and they're forcing her to watch Monty Python. And, <laughs> and she says, I'm a girl. I don't even like the good Monty Python. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody loaned me like a VHS a long time ago of like some sketch comedy, the Monty Python comedy team did or some shit. Like apparently, there, was there like a television show at some point? I don't know. I mean, well, but, the, uh, the the flying circus was a show on. Ah, okay. BBC. Well, that's what, that must be what it was. Okay. Okay. So you got you got everything you need. Uh, no. I'm gonna need. Uh, let's see here. I'm, get a melee weapon. Get. Well, I got some good armor. I got decent armor. Just need some. Do I need armor? Is this place dangerous, or are we just tearing shit apart? It's gonna be dangerous. Ah, uh, okay. Well, because then they, they've they've evacuated the refugees, but they've probably stationed the entire Rainbow Kingdom army there, and they sound pretty badass. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see I here. mean, you you can't have rainbow colored armor and survive and not be at least pretty tough. It would be like a, a street gang <laughs> with like pink. And it's kind of like the uh, boy name Sue principle. Yeah, it'd be like a gang. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the boy okay. name Sue principle. All right, gold helmet, gold boots, that should do it. Along with the mesh armor I've got, or whatever chain armor is. Uh, I don't have any levels. That's a bummer. I'd enchant something. There's all the enchanted shit in here is damaged. So, okay, I've got food. I need a decent sword. Mine, to, so go, ahead and take take, go ahead and make a diamond one. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to make one. Alright. I'm gonna enchant my bow. Here we go. Alrighty, where's wood? We got wood laying around somewhere oh, yeah. here. Oh, we got a bunch. It's in the floor, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Alrighty. You. Dum 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 dum. Just make a couple of them, I guess. Um, and crafting table. We got one nearby. Crafting table. <laughs> the fuck is it? I know I'm like right on top of it. Uh, yeah, they're right on your feet. Literally. Are they? You're oh, literally okay. right yeah. on top of it. <laughs> got it. Take some jack o' lanterns. Oh, wait, that's a shovel. I always get that backwards. Oh, by the way, we finally found slimes to make leads. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we were digging everywhere looking for a slime chunk to find them underground. And then at long. Finally, I got the idea to just fill in a swamp biome because recently they changed it so that slimes will spawn in a swamp at night during the certain phases of the moon. Yeah. Yeah, so now we got a ton of slime. They cool. call it slime All right. watch. I'm a diamond sword and I'm ready to go. Alright, let's go. Oh, did you see this? People have been building all kinds of cool shit. This is an automatic equipper. Like, these things will shoot a full set of iron armor onto you. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's badass. 
And, uh, yeah, it also gives you a sword and a flinch. How the hell did you craft that? I mean, how do you get, like, an automatic armor dispenser? I mean, holy shit. He just has a pressure plate that activates all of them, I guess. That's wild. And, yeah, okay. yeah. So, I mean, it's basically like a storage and a dispenser, and that's it? It's like that thing that Tony Stark has, except not as elaborate. <laughs> okay.